This is Warship 59 hailing you on channel 13. Over. But I hope you all sign up for the bid winners next weekend. <laughs> so this is the Southwestern Yacht Club Cabrillo Series, Cabrillo 3, the Point Loma Wave Rider Ex Expedition out. Uh, we do have Motor Lima vessel shorty, Alpha. motor vessel shorty. This we is Warship 59 hailing you on channel 16. So far, on over. time. So again, Lima is up. Remember, there is no radio check-in for this race. So uh, thank you very much to Steve Rock and his beautiful yacht Cabaret for being our race committee boat today. And we are ready for you to come by up the port side of Cabaret. And check in. Please remember we are looking for the number of souls on board, please. The number of souls on board as you check in. Race committee standing by on 6-8. Bust out a security call. Just about to do so. Had a feeling, appreciate it. Your clutch is still spinning. Well, that should, that should spin. Security, security, security. All stations, all stations, all stations. This is U.S. Navy range boat Lori. The U.S. Navy is conducting unmanned vessel operations north to south in an area west of Point Loma. All vessels are requested to stay clear two nautical miles out of operational area. Any concerned traffic, please contact Navy Range Boat Lori on channel 16 or 88 Alpha. Security, security, security. All stations, all stations, all stations. This is U.S. Navy Range Boat Lori. U.S. This U.S. Navy is conducting unmanned vessel operations north to south in an area three miles west of Point Loma. All vessels are requested to stay clear two nautical miles out of operational area. Any concerned traffic, please contact Navy Range Boat Lori on channel 16 or 88 Alpha. Navy Range Boat Lori out. Adventure horn blower. Adventure horn blower, this is Navy Range Boat hailing you on channel 16. Do you copy? Navy Range Boat, Adventure horn blower 16. Good afternoon, Captain. Can you switch over to channel 18? 18. Good morning, Captain. Uh, this is Navy Range Boat Lori. We've got some unmanned vessel operations. Um, and you are basically on a crash course for us right now. Uh, we have a submerged object in the water. Uh, what are your intentions? It's, it's, it's a submerged object dragging behind 
the boat that's in the middle of us. But it, it'll be about 500 feet behind us, so if you can just give us a wide berth. Thanks, Captain. He's going to give us a wide berth and pass us behind us. Uh, Eric, know him from uh, Hornblower. Uh, the Mackenzie, the Jenny H. Yeah, I think we got it solved here. It was a clutch on the hydraulic. So I think if you guys want to drag that out to us, we'll be ready to roll. Yeah. We're falling your way. Clear for two zero. If possible, if you can get up beside the craft to see how that bellmouth bell mouth mating looks. You're towards the anchorage area. Will, we'll be waiting for you there. Like 45 minutes. Jay's Belmont looks good. Copy that. We're going to pull up in about 30 seconds here. I'll get out of his way. Buzz up in front of us, make sure there's no uh, traps or duties. We're scoping out 10 additional feet. Three humpbacks, that was like 48 up like an hour ago. I guess to change course a bit. Starboard turn to go back our reciprocal. Well, how about? 
about uh, we just go to 180. Copy that. Now that should uh, work. Yes, no reactor. If you want me to stay on the starboard side. You can stay on the starboard side and we'll stay on the outside. Okay, we're making the starboard turn. Let's take that one down and we'll just twist out here real far and then we'll clear the grizzly the other way. We're going to uh, haul in briefly and then click emergency stop. Radio check, radio check, Harbor Island. Ten four, thank you. Roger, we're gonna stand by, let us know when you're ready. Sounds good.
Uh, I want a little more here. Can you still hear your line down? It is our intention to start on time, so the warning will be at 11 o'clock. 15 seconds. Uh, we will have check-in until nine, the first attention. Eight, seven. Six. We're going to stand by. We're going to start our uh, GPS cows. Real racers. Uh, we will be starting class four first. Uh, Check-in has closed. Check-in has closed and will reopen once class four has started. Check-in at this time is closed. It will reopen once class four has started. I'd like to give a big shout out over there to. Uh, U.S. number 59, she is heading out uh, overseas, so uh, let's all give her a big hurrah and tell her have a great voyage out there. We'll head out to 270 for now before the retrieval. Copy that. Our uh, Southwestern Racing Fleet Captain Ryan Rogers, uh, post at one time. I'm going to head at 270-10 knots for a bit. Copy, 270-10 knots. We're out, so she's bound for an excellent voyage. Thank you very much for your service, folks. Nice. Afternoon Four turns for GPS calibration.
Troy, um, I just saw a little juvenile gray whale right off of Ballast Point, just to keep your eyes open. It only spouted once. It actually gave a little fluke. I've been trying to find it for the next, for the last uh, four or five minutes, haven't seen it, but keep your eye open as you're passing by. Okay, copy that. Starboard turn to 070, six knots. Begin retrieval. Mark set back. Mark set, Bessemer. Mark set, returning. Hey, Drew, uh, apparently you have the pin mark, which is a smaller orange buoy, inflatable. Roger, I have that. You want to just drop that mid-course, or maybe the about a third of the way up to where the weather mark likely is, and then we'll just drag it and put it where we want it? Uh, yeah. I, I was just going to wait for you guys anyway, so... Okay, either way, thank you. Best for standing by 7-3. Hey, Parker, outside Mission Bay right here. This is Tobo US, Channel 1-6. Starting sequence. 30 seconds left to the class three warning. If you're a boat that still needs to check in, you might position yourself.